Film Spring Open workshop is unique. A 10-day audiovisual workshop based on new technologies and tools. It is a new laboratory of innovation where new ideas emerge based on technological novelties audiovisual industry has to offer. It is addressed to filmmakers, students and enthusiasts who, under the guidance of specialists, consult and learn new technologies, enriching their artistic and technical skills and mainly develop joint audiovisual projects. Lectures are delivered by award-winning speakers, including Oscar winners Natalie Portman, Juliette Binoche, Alan Starsky, and Neil Corpett. For the past 15 years, Film Spring Open has been focused on comprehensive education in audiovisual art using cutting-edge technology and future-oriented professionals to engage with youth, students, graduates, artists, producers, programmers and technicians involved in the audiovisual industry. Exceptionally, due to the pandemic, 15th edition of Film Spring Open workshop will take place online. Film Spring Open has created a website allowing all participants to work together in creative groups in the form of video conferences. Participants registered in a given dedicated group was able to consult and develop their individual projects in groups or during individual sessions. Our group worked in the spirit of an artistic residency under the supervision of the international group of filmmakers Red Eye School, founded by Barbara Kozak and Florent Payares in 2012. The first project we tried to make is an interactive fiction called Super Tramp. It's a fake reality show featuring a competition between homeless people where the audience can choose to change their life as they wish. For example, the audience can choose homeless people from Mexico, France or Poland and then decide what each homeless person can become, an artist, a sportsman, a politician. The filming of Supertramp began in February in Guanajuato region of Mexico. The first part of the film was shot with students from Unitech Neon, a famous Mexican technological university, in partnership with Guanajuato Film Commission, Esperanza Distribution and the Muestra de Cine de Leon. The idea was to make an international film also shot in Cabestan, France, in April, in Krakow, Poland, during the Film Spring Open Workshop. Unfortunately, due to the COVID pandemic, the project had to be abandoned. The second project we tried to do is an interactive documentary called Let's Change the World. It's about giving the public the opportunity to meet people of their choice who are trying to change the world in their own way. The public can choose them by theme or region of the world. These small documentaries can take the styles of what we call Cine Journalism, which is a form of documentary, a collaboration between one or more photojournalists and filmmakers in a university setting. The concept of Cine Journalism was invented by doctors Thierry Gobert and Florent Payares, who were able to experience this technique through the diploma they created at the University of Perpignan, Photojournalism, captures and aerial images. Some of their students already worked on the topic Let's Change the World in the context of their graduation. They have made short documentaries of three to six minutes about characters who try to change the world, such as Daniela, a voice from the group Last Thesis, author of an artistic performance called The Rapist Is You. This collective performance created in Valparaiso denounced the machism to deep injustice and the indifference of the institutions and the patriarchal system. Another example is Galate, a peasant farmer from the Five Cows farm in France who tries to change the living and dying conditions of their animals. She and her companion, Simon, would like their animals to remain on the farm until the end of their lives and not be sent, as the law requires, to the slaughterhouse so that they can accompany the animals they have cared for all their lives to death in good condition. Another example is that of Renault, a director who created a show in France to give a voice to Guinean and Ivorian refugees. 
At this level, he tries to create a reflection on the question of refugees and participates in the creation of a world where difference between men would be considered as wealth. Another example is that of the scientist Kenzo and Jean-André who are trying to raise awareness of ecology by protecting the biodiversity and ecosystem of the Massan Nature Reserve, one of the oldest forests in France. Another example is the French couple who decided to take their children out of school to do some family education. For them, some children are not made for classical education and require personal learning. In order to help their children's emancipation, they decided to focus on trust and empowerment. In the end, they learn to learn, they do not teach, they share. They are now campaigning for the right to do family education to be maintained because the French president announced in October the abolition of this right. All these people, and so many others, are trying to change the world in their own way. For Film Spring Open, the idea was to allow members of our interactive group who wanted to make documentaries to continue this project. Many topics emerged from our French, Mexican, Polish and Spanish participants. Unfortunately, due to COVID pandemic, the project had to be abandoned. We then tried to make each one on its own and make an interactive, ecological and safe film production in pandemic times. In France, for example, the city of Cadestani lent us as public space for young people so that we could make a fiction on the theme of ecology. In order to respect the rules relating to the COVID, we equipped the center with hydroalcoholic gel. The wearing of masks was compulsory. We readily took the temperature of each of our participants. Safety distance had to be respected and the number of people in the space limited to less than 10 people. We also took care of the hygiene of the premises with the cleaning of touched surfaces, doors handles, telephones, computers keyboards and mice tables. We ventilated the premises for indoor air quality at least 10 minutes a day. In order to create the most ecological production possible, we were inspired by the end of the year thesis of Frimis the Consulate Ecology and Production how to make cinema while respecting the ecological commitment as a citizen, written by the producer Colin Destom. It is important to know that the production of a feature film produces of average 1,000 tons of carbon equivalent, which is equivalent to the production of 1,000 desktop computers. The first things to do is to educate the theme and practices to reduce the ecological footprint. Everyone must be aware of the impact of their action, but above all their abilities to act differently. One of the most used tools in office production work is email. If we consider its entire life cycle, simply sending a 1 megabyte email is equivalent to using a 60 watt light bulb for 25 minutes, or the equivalent of 20 grams of CO2 emitted. It consumes in energy every time it is accessed because messages and their attachment are stored on servers around the world that are constantly on. Another very common feature in production offices are home gateway or boxes that allow access to the internet via modern Wi-Fi. They operate day and night, including weekends, and therefore account for 1% of annual electricity consumption in France. Generating sets are to be prescribed at the ecological level because they have a very low energy efficiency and pollute by their operation with oil or gas. We worked with solar engineers and technicians Vincent Thieven and Florent Faguet, a new ecological group which, thanks to solar energy, do not pollute. Moreover, they are silent compared to generators, which is a great advantage for sound recording. In order to avoid great energy losses, there are for example LED technology lamps which consume less energy. It is also necessary to minimize transport and we have decided to turn on entire production in the same place. When it is not possible to avoid travel, we can buy back our cab carbon debt through websites such as Good Planet. We have used as little plastic as possible and purchased directly in glass containers for example. It is also important to use hard dishes rather than disposable plastic and to keep the same glass as long as possible. 
for example, by writing our name on it so that we don't lose it or confuse it with someone else's name. For food, short circuits are preferred to avoid the cost of transporting food in the same spirit, eat as little possible food as possible, which will be more beneficial for health of the team. Second, facilities such as eco-friendly tri toilet can help avoid the use of chemical needed. To be sure that our teams respect the basic rule concerning the ecology and pandemic of COVID, we have hired two security agents because the most important things for us is always the security of our teams. They succeeded in convincing our team of the importance of applying these gestures on a daily basis. But unfortunately, due to the new rules of COVID pandemic, the project had to be abandoned. Then we decided to revise our objectives in a more minimalistic way by making individual films at home with our phone and interactive music that we tried to create all together. Finally, it was once again an incredibly creative experience we had, and our crew wanted to say something to the team that organized it, this great event. Thank you, Prince Pingo. Merci. Thank you. Merci. Muchas gracias. Merci. Thank you. Muchas, muchas, muchísimas gracias. Merci. Thank you, Shin. Gracias. Thank you. Gracias. Thank you, Film Spring Open. Merci. Muchas gracias, Film Spring Open. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. We love Film Spring Open forever.